We've had a very nice question in from a gentleman called Daljet. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, firstly, he has an AEG tumble dryer, a T75280. This is made by the Electrolux Group, and they're very good towards engineers, giving us the correct information to be able to diagnose the problems. So I thought I'd share this with you. The workshop manual, which I'll bring up now, is able to clarify the heating size, the NTC sensors, and the values that you need to be able to repair this machine. Yes, it only has one thermostat on the heater, but you also have an NTC sensor. So first we'll go through the wiring diagram. Now you say your tumble dryer is not heating and you've checked the thermostat, but you can't get through to the heater plug. First thing to be aware of is the side panel on the machine on the right hand side of the machine needs to come off. Uh, I have some other videos to show you how to do this. Uh, you need to be looking at all the AEG, Electrolux and Zanussi tumble dryer videos I've got. They do vary from machine to machine. So this is, it is, I can't do a video on every machine how to dismantle. I would never get to finishing a series of videos that way. But let's just go through the wiring diagram. The power comes into the machine to the circuit board. On the circuit board, you have relays. Now, one of those relays is there to control the heating unit, turning it on and off as required. Sometimes these relays can become faulty. So there's one possibility. So next, we've got the heater down the bottom. And as you say, you've got one thermostat on the heater. The heater, I believe, is 140 degree uh, thermostat. So when it gets to 140 degrees, it becomes open circuit. It's normally allowing electricity to pass through the thermostat to turn or let the element come on. Then you have an NTC sensor on the back of the heater, and this has a set of values that you need to make sure are with, within their working capability. I'll bring that up in a minute. On the front end of the machine, you also have another NTC probe. Uh, this will be to measure air temperatures, and you need to make sure that this is working correctly. Both of these NTC sensors send the information to the circuit board to tell the machine what temperature the different air flows are on the machine, and therefore the circuit board then can control the heating system. You also have a humidity sensor, which is two bars just inside the drum normally on the left-hand side. Uh, these need to be made sure that they're kept clean. Don't scuff them up. I normally use a very, very soft um, green uh, kitchen scourer, very, very soft, just to lightly clean up the surface. Because if you're using a lot of synthetic clothing, sometimes the bars can actually get a little bit of um, resin on top of them, and they don't work efficiently that way. Uh, also, you've got the pump unit, which transfers the water to the holding tank, and you also have a tank sensor. Uh, there is nothing really else thermostatically wise for your heating system on this. Uh, if we go to the more detailed uh, wiring diagram, and as you can see, I won't go bore you through all this, but basically you've got the temperature probe at the front, the humidity sensor, which I was talking to you about. And also you've got the NTC sensor, uh, which goes through to the circuit board from the heating unit. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the wiring diagram. I'll just show you quickly some exploded views of the machine so you can get a gist of how the machine comes apart. Uh, the condensing unit is at the bottom. This collects, this needs to be taken outside and really cleaned on a regular basis. Um, the whole housing at the bottom then drains the water through to a collection bowl and the pump transfers it to the holding tank at the top of the machine. Uh, there's also a sensor, which I showed you on the wiring diagram. Then we have an exploded view of the cabinet. And as you can see, uh, this panel here is what needs to come off. Let me just change that so you can see it properly. But this is the panel that needs to be removed. You'll see this in my other videos. And I've also done some detailed videos on how NTC sensors work. Uh, then we have all the electrical components. Uh, this is the heater unit. 
and you can see the thermostat there in that picture, but there's an NTC probe at the back. This is the pump unit. Um, I think this is the uh, by map, uh, the sensor inside the drum. I'm not going to get word twisted on that. And there is the other NTC sensor. Um, any other diagrams that will be good here? The filter system at the front. You want to make sure all the ducting is always kept clean as this allows the machine to work efficiently and therefore saving you money because it will dry the clothes faster. Uh, also, facial panel, not important. And this is the door assembly. So let's have a look at the detailed uh, sensors now and uh, what the value should be and how to check them. OK, let's have a look at the heater first. Now, the heater we do carry in stock and it's part number 13661102192. Uh, it is a stock item and it's genuine only. The thermostat, which is fitted to the heater, is non-replaceable, in meaning at the moment there are no patent parts available for just replacing the thermostat if it was open circuit. But let's just have a look at the NTC sensor. Now, I've done a detailed video, which is in the description below, on how to check NTC sensors. But at 25 degrees, you should be getting an ohms reading of around 4,997. At 100 degrees, you should have a reading of around 476. And of course, 200 degrees, which you shouldn't be getting to anyway, otherwise the thermostat uh, will go open circuit, is 59.21. Uh, and as you can see, the heater has got two sides to it. One is a 700 watt, and I believe the other half of it is a 1900 watt. Uh, so you will need to do an ohms check on this. And of course, you can use ohms law on the two sides of the heating element to do an ohms reading to actually work out if the wattage is correct of the element. OK, the forward NTC sensor you would normally be testing at room temperature, which would be somewhere around 20 degrees. You're going to have to adjust your calculations slightly depending on your room temperature, but you have got the maximum value and minimum value there, uh, so you're able to do the calculations with your multimeter. OK, so if you've checked all the components now, uh, the two NTC sensors, you've checked the high and low heat setting on the heating element itself. You've checked all the air flows, made sure the condenser is clear. Then you may have a problem with the circuit board and possibly a problem with the relay. Now, I have changed a lot of relays over the years on Electrolux machines and Hoover Candy machines. Uh, the relays do go. In my honest opinion, sometimes the circuit board manufacturers put underrated relays on the circuit board for the amount of time that they operate, meaning that I, I'm not going to call it built-in obsolescence, but maybe they haven't thought about this over a long period of time. And things like the... Uh, contacts inside the relay aren't like they used to be years ago. They used to build it with pure stainless steel uh, points and they wouldn't carbonize and burn out. On the more modern relays with slightly cheaper components, they can fail. So it's worth having a look at the relays. Uh, there's four on this circuit board by the look of it. I do not have an exploded diagram to tell you which relay it is, uh, but normally it would be the higher value relay. Uh, two of the relays are normally for right-hand rotation and left-hand rotation on the motor. The other relay may be to do with the uh, pump for activating the pump. And the fourth relay would be the heater. So it's well worth looking at this. Also check all the wiring that you haven't got any broken connections or any loose connections. That's very important as well. But with regards to the whole dryer, uh, that's the heating circuit. And that's all I'm really to help able to help you with. There are detailed videos on how this machine comes apart in the description below and also a video on how relays work and how to test relays and NTC sensors as well. That's all I can help you with with regards to the heating system. If you need any components for this machine, remember you always need to check that your model number fits the correct component. 
other people may be watching this video and assuming that uh, this is the part that they need for their tumble dryer, but you need to use your full model number and PNC number on occasions to make sure you're getting the correct part. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to shop with us as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. And if I really helped, you can always click on the Buy Paula Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video and I hope you fix your dryer.